What's up guys and welcome to the tarot. I am an energy and intuitive reader and I'm here to do the popcorn reading for somebody. So let's see who's gonna get this Pisces. What's up Pisces? Thank you so much for being here. This message can resonate with you if you have Pisces as a sun, moon, rising, or Venus. All right, Pisces, this is a side message. So July this month could be significant or um, a Cancer or a Leo um, is going to bring you some type of guidance here. Like you're about to receive some help from a Cancer or a Leo or this month here. Um, I feel like you learned a lesson in something. So it's like this helping hand or this guidance is like a gift. I feel like you're going to be really happy here. This could be about a spiritual love or a spiritual connection with someone. Uh, you could learn some hard spiritual lessons here. And you're going to be um, get, getting a gift because of it. That was a side message. Give me a second. <laughs> My car failed. All right. Let's see, Pisces. I'm going to do three sets of three. This one, Pisces, okay, <clears throat> Pisces, all right, you have Jug, Sun, and Mule, you could be dealing with a Leo with the Sun card here, or have that in your chart, happiness and well-being, someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change, and a light-hearted, carefree time, so there could be, um, Someone here who is trying to make something hard for you here while you're trying to best live your best life. This person's not going to change. I feel like you want them to, but they're not. What is this sun, mule, and jug? You have the hierophant. Could be a Taurus. You could be married to this person or in a commitment with this person. But this could be at work. The sun is in reverse here. Sun is in reverse, the knight of wands is in reverse, and the, and the six of cups. This is a soulmate connection with this person, or you um, have kids with this person, or you've been with this company for a very long time. Um, I feel like with the knight of wands, it's in and out energy. What is this in and out? <laughs> Lovers in reverse. Like the happiness. The happiness is in and out. And it's like... You're realizing that now. Yeah, it's you're, you're, It's like it's causing you to lose faith because this person is not changing here. So, I want to clarify the mule. Where's the mule? This person, this this person is going through a transformation, but they are like, ugh. It's like they're dragging their feet is what it feels like. It's like they're resi they're refusing to have the transformation. They're like, heck no. Yeah, they're literally, yeah. And it's hurting them. Trust me, they're hurting, boo-boo. Why don't they want to do this? What is a chariot in reverse? Could be a Cancer. Could be an Aries. Ten of Swords, the Emperor in reverse, the Queen of Swords, and the Eight of Wands. They don't want to release control. And what's going to happen is they're going to they're going to go through a painful ending. Could be mental um, or some type of ending here. What is Eight of Wands? Yeah, they're going to tell you. They're going to come communicate this that they weren't listening to their intuition before. Could be a Libra. They know they were unfair. Okay, let's see. Let's keep going. What else? Damn, Lion again. I mean, Lion. This is this also my Leo card. Could be dealing with a Leo again. <laughs> you have the two up, the Lion, and the Tiger here. But you don't have to be. Um, or in Leo season, this is going to happen. You have great passion, Tiger, and Lion. Doing something risky, taking a chance, time to act. So there's something that um, the universe is going. It's like... They're telling you to take a risk towards something here that you feel like is risky. It feels like for you, it feels like you're taking a chance and they're saying to do it. There's a lot of passion there. And I feel like <laughs> I honestly feel like whatever this is, it's not going to let you like not take the opportunity. What is this tulip, tiger and lion? 
Could be an opportunity because I said that. Could be an Aquarius. You have the Star in reverse, Nine of Pentacles in reverse, the Tower in reverse, the Ace of Swords in reverse, the Seven of Swords in reverse, and the Three of Wands. Wow. Wow. So there's going to be a big... This is going to come out of nowhere. Okay? Whatever this... Um, taking a chance to... It's going to come out of nowhere here because I feel like wherever you're at, you don't have any faith about this here. It's not reliable and it's not clear. And I feel like you're waiting for what? What you're manifesting? You're waiting for someone to uh, make a logical decision and like apologize for something. Yeah, you need to release control because that might not happen. And I feel like the risky thing that you're that you're doing is this tower. What is this tower? High Priestess in reverse, Ten of Swords, and the Ace of Cups. You're not listening to your intuition. This could be about new love or starting something new here after an ending. Could be at work, bro. But I just feel like it's... Like, there's an energy that's, like, not working with you. It's just, like, not working. And then there's an energy that's, like, yeah, what's up? Ten of Cups. Could be your Ten of Cups. Let's keep going. You have Bird, Perched, Casket, and Chair Filled. Okay. Someone new was entering your life. Someone going out of your life or the end of a situation and waiting for news, package, or letter. Okay. So. Someone is. It's like someone's waiting for you to recognize them or. Um, there's someone new coming in here. And I feel like you're going, they're going to send you a message or a package or a letter. What is this fair, chilled, and bird perch casket? Queen of Cups in reverse. You might be closed off to this though. Why? You're going to be undecisive. Too much competition. Could be an Aries. What do you know? You know that they're holding on to something that is causing delays. I think that's the casket. What is a chair filled in bird birch? Oh, same thing with this. You're not taking the leap of faith here. You're scared to take the leap of faith and move forward. It's like you're 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 debating what to do with this new person. I feel like you don't want this. Um, whew, sheesh. I feel like if you get the courage, it'll be successful. To go towards with the three of cups i see you having a lot of fun here i feel like you don't want this to be a situation where it's not equal give and take like i feel like you that's what you don't want i'm clarifying a lot <laughs> today for these but yeah that's kind of what i'm getting all right pisces that's all that i have for you i hope this helped have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this and stay positive